Roger, we've set up cameras in every room in the house, and the only strange activity we've seen is stuff we already know about. Like how Dad pretends he's a mummy when he's on the toilet. Also, we know Francine is way too interested in Haley's sex life. Mm. Mm. Is she eating mozzarella like it's an apple? Look, Roger, I admit something may have been here, but it's gone now. 340, no sign of the ghost. Really have to pee, but don't want to miss anything. Shut your stupid face. Look, in the basement, the washing machine. It's turning on by itself. It's, looks like, mom. <laughs> Three forty-three. Just peed myself. Asparagus. Oh, what'd you wake me up for? I was having a dream. I owned a collectible shop. I was haggling with a kid about a grimace glass. Now, Dad, prepare yourself. Roger and I found proof the house is haunted. Haunted? Please. As if a pizza guy has ever been murdered here and buried under the foundation. <laughs> but nobody's gone to the cops, right? What? Stan, no. I don't know how it's possible, but this ghost is real, and it looks just like me. Well, maybe 20 pounds ago. Dad, check out this footage from the basement. <laughs> ah! That was scary, but, but fun scary. It's fun to be scared, huh? This is phenomenal special effects work, Steve. No, it's real. It is a ghost, and it's beautiful. Whoa, it's chosen me. It's chosen me. <laughs> Ow, that really hurt, beautiful specter. This is freaking my dicky out. All right, that's it. I'm texting the one person who can help. Greetings. My name is Ruby Zeldestein. I'm a medium to the other side, and I make a hell of a shoe fly pie. Are we really gonna do this? Do you have a medium character? Oh, there is a presence here. A very bitter presence, full of resentment. Is anyone else still seeing his junk when they close their eyes? Yep. What the hell was that thing that took Maurizio? Darling, that was a spirit. Your spirit. I'm dead? Maybe that's why my nails have stopped growing. Oh, wait, there they go. Not all hauntings are caused by the dead, child. Sometimes they're caused by emotions. Feelings kept locked away so long that they manifest themselves as a malevolent force. So it is a poltergeist. Not quite. The entity in this house was born specifically out of Francine's sexual frustration. I like to call it a poltergasm. What are you doing? I just drew a trademark sign with my finger, child, because I've registered the word poltergasm. Any movie scripts you write based on your experiences here, Ruby gets a slice. This is preposterous. I took Francine to Satisfaction Avenue just last night. Oh, I doubt that. Now, sweetie, try to remember. When was the last time your husband satisfied you? Well, like Stan said, last night. Do you know that to be the only and absolute truth? And therefore the Christian truth? Well, sort of. It's more like Satisfaction Avenue adjacent. Adjacent? But when we have sex, you look just like Meg Ryan in that scene from When Harry Met Sally. When she fakes it. Oh my God, I love that movie. Mom, this makes sense. The way you look at Mauricio and me, you are clearly jealous and repressed. Yes, this foul spirit was born of a lie and nurtured by repression. Think back, when did it all begin? I guess a couple years ago when we went to that sandals resort for our anniversary. 